Hi, this is Herb Halstead from GeekRev.com, and I've got a Pro Presenter uh, tip to show you today. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take our media library and we're going to show you a way that you can quadruple or sextuple or octuple your library in a matter of a few clicks. Basically, the first step is organization. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder called Red, just to start off with Red. And I'm also going to create two playlists inside of this red folder. One is going to be called slow and the other is going to be called fast. So now I have a red, a slow, and a fast. Okay. Now if I go back to my background list, you'll notice I have this first clip selected and you can see it playing up here. Basically it's a red issue. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to command drag that into the slow folder slow folder and you'll see that that clip is now copied in here. Now if I if, if I click this folder or click this media clip and hit you know, right click on it and hit properties what you'll see is this Q inspector and it basically shows you all of the the um, uh, parameters of this particular clip. Now if I click play you can see, see here that it's moving a little bit slowly. Now one of the things about this is it kind of looks a little more pink than I want and this this uh, little tool here this little dial called hue is a very powerful one and one we will use multiple times in this tip now what I'm gonna do is just kinda slide this over until I get a little bit of purple out of it and it looks a little more red less purpley more red I don't want it to go too far because I don't want it to look orange either um, so you just have to kind of play with it until you feel like it's about in the right spot where it looks more red. I'm going to increase the saturation to bring a little bit more of that red in. Decrease the contrast to bend back uh, some of the, uh, uh, or give a little more obscurity to it. And there's my starter clip. Now this is a red hued clip uh, set at 1x its normal speed. Uh, I might even bring that down a little bit just for fun to slow it down even more. So once I click this X, now it will save those, those uh, parameters. And if I click on this, you'll notice it shows up here in red. Now sometimes, to be honest with you, sometimes a little preview here doesn't look as, uh, as much uh, in terms of reality what you'll get over here. Now the other thing you have to remember too is when you're adjusting these colors, you need to have this thing plain on the projector that you're going to show because that's where the true color matters. <laughs> So let's just say I've done all that. This is how I like this clip, but I want a faster version of this. Now watch how easy this is. You simply command drag the same file into your fast folder. All right, now I'm going into the fast folder. You'll see it shows up here. I'm going to select it once, right click, pick properties, and I will get it the inspector up again. Now here's how I can make this a faster version. I simply drag this rate clip or this rate slider all the way up. Now, granted, this is still kind of slow, but it's a lot faster than the other one. Um, and some, some clips are gonna be naturally faster, some clips are gonna be naturally slower. At any rate, I don't need to adjust the color or anything because I already set that in the previous setup. So I'm gonna just close this inspector box, and now I have a faster version of that same clip. If I hit the slow, and I click the same thing, you see it's slower. So I have a red, slow and fast version. Now, now what I've basically done is doubled uh, the amount of media that I have access to. Now, here's where it gets really fun. I'm gonna click on background images just so I can make sure I'm in the top level of this hierarchy here. And I'm gonna add another folder and I'm gonna call it blue. And inside that blue folder, I'm gonna add two playlists. Again, slow and fast. Okay, now, uh, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a version of this media file that's blue. And here's how we do that. I'm going to command drag just like before into slow. I'm going to go into my slow folder of blue. And now you notice it didn't automatically change to blue just because I told it was in the blue folder. So I'm going to click that once. I'm going to right click and pick properties to get my inspector back up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this neat little hue wheel that we talked about before and I'm going to spin it around until it gets to a nice, deep, non-purpley blue 
uh, that I kind of dig. And I'm going to increase the saturation just a little bit, or you know, bring it just a little more blue to that. And I kind of like that, so I'm going to close that. Now the rate I'm going to leave the same because I already messed with that when I set it over in here. And in order to not have to redo the color all over again, I'm simply going to drag, click or command drag this media clip into fast. You go back into the fast folder, you click on the file, you right click to bring up the inspector again, and you uh, then go to the rate item just like before and bring it up to 2x. Close the inspector. Now what we have is literally quadrupled our selection. I can do this again for purple, for orange, and any other color I want to add. And what I ended up with is more and more choices of the same media file. Now here's the cool thing about doing it this way. Say that you had a song that was kind of, uh, you wanted that, uh, uh, you know, just a, you wanted a more um, confident and more um, vibrant mood to the song. And you're playing this particular song, you put this background up while you're playing the song. But then say the next song you want to change mood just a little bit. You can simply go into the blue folder and, and you want to get a little more reflective mood. You go to the blue folder and select that same clip and, and it'll transition basically to the same clip. But once you start going to your backgrounds and dragging these things in and adjusting the hue and, and all those things, you will build up a pretty quick, uh, a pretty good library of color synchronized clips. Pretty easy thing to do. I hope this helped you. Thanks. This is Herb from DeepRev.com.